Welcome to part 2 of the course, Important KPI. KPI in general is one of the way to measure how well the business is performing. In this section, we will learn some of the most important KPI that operators keep track of. The first group is Growth KPI. They are useful when it comes to tracking sales and growth performance. Cross ad is the number of subscribers acquired over a period of time. A period of time could mean one day, one week, one month, one year, and so on. Churn is the opposite of cross ad. It is the number of subscribers who stop using the service over a period of time. And when you subtract cross ad by churn, you get net ad. Ideally, you want a positive net ad, since positive net ad indicate that your subscriber base are growing. When you have a negative net ad, it indicates that your business is losing customer. Furthermore, you can break down this KPI by some other factor as well, such as the sale channel, so that you will be able to understand which channel give you the most cross ad. Next, we have subscriber based KPI. Subscriber base refer to the total number of subscribers in your network. However, not all of them are using the service. That's why we have real or base. It is referred to the number of subscribers who attach to your network regularly. And again, not everyone are generate, uh, generating the revenue for the business. That's why we have OGB base or revenue generated base. It is the number of subscribers who have generated the revenue for your business. Next, we have monetary KPI. Recharge is relevant in prepaid market. It's the fund purchase to buy product or service from the operator. It's like a digital wallet. Keep in mind that recharge are not yet revenue because in Talco, revenue is recognized only when customer use the balance to buy a service from the operator. Apple is one of the most prominent KPI in telco industry. It stands for average revenue per user. It means uh, how much customer is spending on average. Ideally, you want Apple to be high. Next, we have network KPI. I'm going to introduce a category of network KPI. Accessibility KPI. Accessibility measure whether the service requested by a user can be accessed through. Call setup success rate measure the success rate of call attempt. OOC or radio resource control setup success rate measure the success rate of UE attempt to connect to E node B. ERAP setup success rate measure the success rate of UE attempt to connect to MME or Mobility Management Entity. Availability KPIs. Availability measure the percentage of time a cell is available to serve user. This often measure uh, during the peak hour or the busy hour. Mobility KPI. Mobility measure how well the network can maintain the quality of services during the movement of user. It is common in mobile communication that a user can move around physically while using the service. That's why we need to ensure the smooth transition and no service interruption. To understand this concept, we need to understand the word handover. Handover is when a device is moving from one cell to another cell because of the user is physically moving or because the quality at the old cell drop below the threshold. There are three KPI in this category. Intra-frequency handover out success rate. Measure the success rate of handing over from one cell to another cell within the same 
frequency. This get measured at the source cell. Interfrequency handover or success rate. Measure the success rate of handing over from one cell to another cell with different frequency. Also measure at the source cell. Handover in success rate. Measure the success rate of handing over attempt. This get measured at the target cell. Retainability KPI. Retainability evaluate the network capability to continue to provide service at certain level of quality. We have call drop rate as a KPI. Call drop happen when the call terminated unintentionally and a user have to make another call in order to reconnect. Ideally, this rate should be zero or very close to zero. Next, we have integrity KPI. Integrity measure the service quality provided to the user end. It's important that we don't rely on theoretical speed of 4G or 3G. Instead, we look at the speed allocated to user that's why we have KPIs such as average downlink throughput per user and average uplink throughput per user. These measure the data speed that are allocated to a user on average. Other than user, we also measure a similar KPI at cell level, such as the average uh, download throughput per cell, average upload throughput per cell. And on top of average, we also look at the maximum throughput as well. Traffic KPI. This one is very straightforward. Traffic measure the traffic volume of a cell at any time interval. We have the total number, total amount of uh, download traffic, and also the total amount of upload traffic as well. We also look at the average user connected to the cell and we look at the maximum user connected to the cell as well. Utilization measure the utilization of a cell. In order to do that, we, uh, we have two KPI. Resource block utilization rate for the uplink and we have resource block utilization rate for the downlink. It's important that we keep track of this utilization of a cell. A cell that is Overutilize usually provide uh, worse experience to the end user. Coverage KPI. Coverage measure the signal strength and quality. We have OSOP and OSOQ. This KPI allow us to translate numerical value into meaningful interpretation. Now let's look, look at the table on the right. OSOP and OSOQ are negative value. They are measured in dBm or decibel milliwatt. The bigger the number, the better. Now, look at the example. If you have OSOP bigger than minus 75 dBm, it means that the signal strength is excellent. Somewhere between minus 95 to minus 75, you have good signal strength. Anything that is less than minus 115 consider poor this is a generic threshold threshold can be different from market to market and operator usually de define their own threshold